new video. In this video, I'm going to paint and I'm going to show you how. Actually, right behind me in the newborn area, I want to create like a distressed wall. Okay, so what I have is three colors of paint and it is chalk paint. So uh, it's like extra matte as well. So one is called like Bornstone or something, like Moonstone, which is like the brown, like the beige one. And then I have one that's like champagne and I have like fossil. Anyway, it's first colors. So here you see a close up of the colors. Okay, so the brand I've chosen is called Perfection. I don't want the wall to be perfect. I want it to look old and distressed. But anyway, it's Perfection. I got it at the Proxis and it was 50% off. So normally they were like 24 euros each and I got them from for 12 euros each. What else do I have? I have a paintbrush. I don't know what kind. Of, it's like a Annie Sloan paintbrush, which is also for chalk paints. I don't know if it's like suitable for the wool one, paintbrush. And I have a sponge, very important to have a sponge. This one I already have, I don't had. I don't know, maybe I should get like one that's like, there's more bubbles inside, which is like not as dense. This is called a jumbo sponge, easy grip. And it's like to clean your car. So I'm gonna remove um, the um, clothing rack. And I'm going to test it out on like a small piece of wool that's actually behind the clothing rack. So if it doesn't look good, I can just that one in front of it so yeah i want to make like a boho corner where i can just create beautiful intimate portraits of mothers with babies and pregnant women i don't know so i want to have like a distressed wool and i have like a nice chair and like a rug with like a burlap and and stuff from nature anyway so here we go i'm just gonna do the bottom part first otherwise i have to take the uh wall art off which i'll do maybe eventually but first let's go okay so my technique is called um just opening up all the the colors of paint and have like maybe like a little bowl of water so in between you can kind of like change your brush but you don't really have okay so i opened them all up i'm just gonna stir them a little bit we're gonna use all three colors at once I want to create lighter spots and darker spots and just make it look distressed. You can cut off a piece of this sponge or just leave it the way it is. For now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is because you, know, you can always cut off. Um, so what I'm going to do is just um, using a little bit of water on my brush so it's a little bit wet. I'm just going to start with a medium color. I'm just going to dip it straight into the paint. I'm just going to paint freestyle like this. If you think it looks lovely. Beautiful. Just gonna put it in. And of course I don't want to make the lighter paint dirty, so I'm, I should get another paintbrush. So I'm or, also otherwise I'm already going to mix mix them up. Um okay, I'm gonna get another paintbrush. And a roller. So we might use that one as well. So now I'm just gonna put on some lighter paint. You can create like a graphite wall. So what I'm going to do now is use the sponge. It has to be pretty fast. You have to do it before it dries and it dries super fast. I don't even know, like, yeah, I'm going to use some of the dark as well. I'm just going to dip this roller in.
gonna tear my uh, sponge in half because I think it works better I and mean, it's a little bit smaller. Otherwise you get some like darker spots where you don't want them because they were already on the sponge. Okay, I just want to give you a close-up already because it's showing different on camera. So this is what it looks like now. Of course, it's still wet. I think it's already looking super cool. So I'm just going to let it dry for now and continue tomorrow. I've taken off the wall art that was under. It does look more patchy on camera than in real life, but I still think it's beautiful. Very nice. Okay, so it's day two. I'm going to continue uh, to paint. And I think I want to make it a little bit lighter, like going upwards. Um, so yeah, I've taken off all the wall art and I'm just going to continue painting. So I'll use a lot of the white paint, then I'll make my sponge really wet. I'll add a few dots of the darker paint and I'll just sponge on top of it. Um, I'm not quite sure yet what it will look like. Okay, so this is it for now. Um, and it's not finished yet, but it's okay. I'm now going to start <laughs> on that wall. So I'm just gonna continue. And um, up until that line, pretty much there. So I have a whole corner. Like that. So this is what it looks like now. Let's see if I can give you a close up. And there you go. It's not as patchy in real life as on camera. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I think it looks really nice. It almost looks like a half like a concrete wall or like plaster work and like paint and I did on purpose like some drops like going down just to give some variation in the um, patterns like there I don't know if you can see anyway I can't wait to test it so I have newborn sessions this week cakes my sitter so I might do some portraits of the mom with the baby in front of the wall so I'm gonna get like a nice carpet a nice chair can't wait to try it okay so I am on my way to cut off some um, braid for the photo shoot. So here I have lots of it, like as far as you can look, there's braid. So I'm just going to cut off a few. Uh, I might go to like a, a store when they open again, like the garden stores, and buy some dried flowers as well. But for now, I have this and it's nice.
I might want to get like a wreath on the wall with like dried flowers. with an almost one-year-old girl and of course we're gonna use the creamy backdrop and the fur one and the wood and whatever and I'm also gonna ask the mom if she's okay with that that we take some photos of her and her daughter together uh, I have the dress already there actually yeah and then I was thinking about this outfit um, for the daughter to match maybe a little headband for the daughter and she can just hold the daughter daughter can sit on her lap I just want to take some test spots for photos. on the wall with some eucalyptus and I have some gowns I have this high chair which I got in a thrift store so uh, new hats I'm excited so I'm just connecting the eucalyptus to the ring it's gonna be behind there on the wall and here is the other chair here are tons of dresses that we might use so I have some extra here as well I want the, to ask the lady to hold like a little branch or some eucalyptus or cup of coffee and like the chair that I have there and then the chair I got in the thrift store and even like here just close to the window standing like this looking beautiful sitting on the floor leaning on the floor I mean if you have pregnant women who already have like a two three-year-old child one-year-old child doesn't matter they can sit with them they can sit on their lap 
so many variety possible in one little corner of your studio. I love the wall, I love how it turned out. I love the wrath on the wall with the eucalyptus. I'm gonna leave it up there. And uh, now I have a lot of clothes to wash and uh, I'm going to edit, I'm super excited. Yeah, so I had to hold, I, I asked her to hold like a piece of reed as well and just like always like pointing the toes, that really helps. Like bending the leg that's closest towards the camera, maybe arching the back a little bit. She didn't have like a huge belly. So we wanted to emphasize it the whole time. Um, great. Of course you can do shoots with partners as well. But this was just the pregnant lady for my portfolio. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you liked it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I love reading your comments. And um, let me know. Are you going to paint your own wall? Uh, make a story. Tag me and I can see it. Maybe share it. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.